remembers a hike I took about two weeks ago. Um, here's Skull Canyon. Phoenix is over here, Gil Gilbert and uh, Apache Junction and Gold Canyon. And here's Highway 60. And what I did, <clears throat> I was thinking of going up to here uh, for sunset because I've been up there before. In fact, if you look on my Facebook uh, cover page, that's where I took a picture from. It was right there. And I thought I'd go down here this time instead of cutting across this way and hike this way. But it was getting kind of late and starting to get dark. And so I turned around uh, before I get up there. Also, I took the wrong turn off. I should have gone up here and then gone up this way to the place. Um, but I took the wrong one and went up here and realized that I had screwed up. <laughs> so anyway, uh, give you an idea of where it is and what the hike was. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, specifics of the uh, hike. Um, I'll actually show the elevation profile here. It was about, um, what is it, about 12 mi 11 miles. And it went about 11 miles. It took about six hours. I started, uh, this is GMT. I started about 3.21 in the afternoon thinking, oh, it wouldn't take me more than, you know, a couple hours to get up there. I did get up there about three hours into it. It was starting to get dark. <laughs> and so uh, I turned around. Uh, yeah, that was about six o'clock, I guess. Uh, let's see, six, about 6.30 is when I turned around because it was getting too dark and I realized I was quite a ways away from it. So that's what I did. Um, let's fly it for fun. Says right here. Start right there and just fly it. Okay, this is the start. And here we go through the neighborhood. I went to the end of this road here to get to the fence that goes across to the school. There is not a gate there, but there's a way to get through there without climbing over the fence. Here I'm going through the school and through the school playground. And continuing on. This is the power line road. There's two power lines, but there's only one road here. Then we go across this road. This is the last road that's in the association for out the trails. So I keep going here and then end up to the gate. Now this is the gate that goes into state land. And if you look at the, some of the statistics on those, it's not quite right. I had to, because the video was so sped up, says I only went, you know, I went uh, five miles in 10 minutes, but that's not true. I'm not flying that fast. Uh, other than that, the longitude and latitude, I think, are pretty good. Uh, and also, the reason you have such a fast video and I'm doing the maps instead of the other way around is because GoPro was set incorrectly and it was taking like five pictures a second, but there wasn't doing a movie. And I hoped it had done a movie, but the battery lasted a long time. Usually, this is six hours. The battery lasted uh, almost the whole time. Uh, I did. I think I switched the battery once, but usually it, it, I have to switch it every two hours. So. That's why pictures are Ooh, weird. beef steak. Oh, Here's come on, I, I wouldn't cows. do that. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. Nah, no, don't worry. Oh, you, you too, I've seen both of you. Wow, that's amazing. Closer. 
How you guys doing? You got any capsule? It looks like you got a limp. Hate to see you guys with a limp. Oh, relax, relax. Come on, relax. Such a nice day today, isn't it? Where are you guys going? You can eat that stuff? I'm amazed, you know? Who are you guys with? Good to see you. Have a good one. That was my second encounter with cows. And you can see here the power line road on two separate because there's two separate power lines, there's two separate roads. It was a rather nice day. I started, it might have been 80 degrees. It got up to about 90, almost 100, I think. But once the sun went down, and you'll see that later in the video, it was really quite nice, even at 90, 95, 99. We took a few pictures here. I'll, I'm gonna post this on YouTube, but if you wanna see some of the 3D pictures I took, you can actually go to uh, Facebook. where I met another bunch of cows. Some of them were outside the gate, some were inside the uh, corral, but it looked like they had an open gate so they could go in and out. And uh, it was interesting. These are ones taken with my camera, not my GoPro. And then when I kept going, past that and then this trail goes up um, we're still taking pictures of the cows there <laughs> Then you can actually go to uh, Queen Valley. And that was interesting too. I've done that before on my bike. It's a long hike though. <laughs> it's about 20 miles, I think, round trip. I think it's more so if you have to go not on the interstate. This is kind of an interesting tree I took a picture of. The, the road as I'm going up towards my location. Like I mentioned, I didn't really get to where I was planning on going, which was the peak of the hill. And one of the reasons is because I took a turnoff. Um, and here's another 360 picture here. But I took a turnoff before I should have. And not only that, it was getting late, getting kind of wasn't quite dark yet, but I knew I'd be coming back in the dark. And uh, I did have my light, but I'd rather not use it. <laughs> and here's some more cows along that road. About two or three on that road. here I think. I don't know if 
that was the cow or not. <laughs> it's going so fast, sometimes it's hard to know what I'm taking pictures of. It was a good workout. Like I said, almost 11 miles, uh, six hours. I was taking a lot of pictures though, so that's one of the reasons it was slow as it was. bit off track up here you'll see in a minute I went down this one road uh, and then I turned around once I realized I was going south instead of going north I did get turned around. I don't know why I got turned around that much, but I did. So I had to come back. I did go to the top of the hill and take a 360 there. Again, you can see that if you're interested on Facebook, so it, you can see the 3D. And I'm going back. To the area that I was at previously. I'm not going back yet to the where I came from. So, yeah, there's another, I guess that's another 360 picture there too. Beautiful picture of the suits. too bad for a bike. I think I could do a bike pretty well here. Uh, the road's pretty good. There's a couple places where there's a lot of uh, scree and, and rocks and stuff, but other than that, it was pretty good. That was the fence line, the ranch. And I'm not sure which ranch it is, <laughs> but there is a way, there's a gate you can get through to go up, and that's what I did. They want it locked and I mean they want it shut but at least it was able to get in and out and I could see the hill I was headed towards but it was quite a ways away because of the wrong turn off I've been up this way before and it's been kind of interesting but I'm not sure I, I don't know you can see in the background there the, the hill I need to take some pictures of it. And it's not the closest one. <laughs> it's the one farther to the left there. Here's, I think I changed the battery there. This is where I headed back. I think <laughs> we'll see in a minute. Yeah, this is when I was headed back, and uh, because it started getting dark, and I think I'm still no, I'm still going up towards the place. I, yeah, I think right about here is where I turned around. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's like I'm going the same way. You know? Yeah, there we go. I think that was the farthest I went. And there's the hill right there that I was headed toward. But didn't make. I don't know when I'm still hanging out there. Maybe I was just enjoying the, the scenery. <laughs> started going back. It was rather pleasant. Like I say, it's nice. It's nice when the sun went down. I'll tell you, I could be in 105 and have the sun down and not beating on you. It wasn't bad at all. 
I sweat it a little bit. And I had plenty of water, and that was important, these kind of treks in the desert. But instead of being six hours long on this video, it's only less than 20 minutes. Well, about 20 minutes. <laughs> Now you see the sun starting to go down here. It's getting a little darker. And um, I did get some pictures of the sunset, but they weren't really great. <laughs> it is amazing when you don't have the direct sun on you that how comfortable it is. I think it was around 100 right about now. It was nice. I, I didn't have to turn my light until later on. Uh, it was enough light that I could see the trail and stuff. But it started getting dark. and Eventually I had to turn on my light. <clears throat> and I sped up the, the light. Once I turned on my light, it was getting pretty dark. I turned off my GoPro. Maybe it went on, the battery went on, I can't remember, but I had plenty of batteries. But I figured, why take pictures in the dark? <laughs> so that's what I did. And uh, yeah, here's one picture that was kind of nice that I liked. Uh, coming up here. All right, there, he says. Yeah, there we go. That was nice. Pleasant picture. You see, I'm not even back to where the cows were in that corral, but uh, it started to get dark. the cows by the time uh, I turned off my GoPro. I'm not quite there yet. I see the cows were along around that uh, the wash, the pond basically, but there was no water in the pond. I did go up there when I first came up, but um, there was no water in there. I didn't exactly know where I was. I was just following the trail. <laughs> I guess I could have got lost, but uh, thank goodness for GPS and that stuff. I didn't. I'm glad I got lost while I, the light was out rather than... <laughs> I mean, when the sun was out rather than late. Now you can see it's starting to get dark. And I said, well, maybe I'll turn it off about here. I don't know why it's all black there. <laughs> I might have to trim this if it's incorrect. But anyway, it gives you an idea.